I'm Rory with Advanced Accessory Concepts. We are the makers of the Trigger Controller, the North American distributors of AFN 4x4 and Taruka USA awnings. Today I'm going to go over our 2022 SEMA build, which is a 2021 Bronco base. So let's walk around and check it out. We started with the base Bronco. This thing came with little tiny 16 inch steel wheels on little tiny tires. Obviously we swapped those out. We've got Icon Alloys Rebound Pro wheels finished in bronze with a 37 1250 Kenda Cleaver RT tire. Suspension is now an Icon Stage 8, so that's the CDEV, so that's their fully electronic controlled uh, suspension setup. So we can sit there and dial it for on road, off road, towing, customize it to our personal preferences straight from our cell phone with the Icon setup. It's got billet upper control arms and out back we've got billet upper and lower rear links. So up front, we've got our AFN 4x4 steel front bumper. Uh, this bumper comes with the fog lights and turn signals. This is a switch back turn signal. So when it's lit up, it is a white halo. When you turn on your blinker, it goes to amber. Uh, inside, we've got a super winch uh, 10X with synthetic rope uh, winch mounted in here. Uh, we'll be adding some rigid 360s to 6-inch 360 lights with amber backlighting. Uh, it comes with the aluminum skid plate. Eventually, we'll add a steel or aluminum skid plate down below. But for the show, we're rocking the plastic skid plate. On the sides, we've got AFN 4x4 frame-mounted steps slash sliders. Uh, you can use them for both. Uh, these mount to the body mounts and to the frame. So it's a frame-mounted slider. It's overbuilt, overkill. But you can use it on the rocks, dirt, sand, whatever you want. So it'll work as a step and a slider. Uh, one of the cool little modifications we had to do, um, not after market parts work together. So we took our Icon reservoirs and mounted them to the slider. They were originally mounted to the frame, but where these mount didn't work together, that happens. Um, just not everybody knows what everybody's building. So we were able to make that work up top on the lid. We've got a JCR off-road uh, roof rack with 80-20 extrusions. Uh, JCR off-road out of Kalamazoo, Michigan, made in America product, uh, fantastic company. They are our competitor, but if we don't make it, we'll run somebody we know and like in trucks. And JCR off-road has always built phenomenal products. So we're rocking their roof rack. Uh, on it, we have a Taruka, one of our brands, 180 Extreme awning. Uh, this is the 180, so 180 just goes side to side it doesn't wrap around the back like a 270 or the 270 extreme uh, the taruka awnings are awesome freestanding uh, we've rocked these things in 30 mile an hour winds and had no issues whatsoever the price point is right on par with everything else in the market but um we've seen bigger name brands um, for a lot more money without the same capabilities and we've got a gyrocopter now JCR, just the factory Bronco top has its limitations. Uh, this has integrated lighting inside of it. It does have the legs. Uh, I'm yet to use the legs in any situation yet, other than for pictures on display. Around back, we have our AFN 4x4 rear bumper. Um, one of the few bumpers on the market that will allow you to mount your license plate still. And another plane. Busy day at the Kurt Airport. Uh, so we've got the AFN 4x4 rear bumper. We've got, we added a Kurt uh, tow hitch because we do tow an X-Venture XV3 trailer. Um, some new products that we're gonna launch at SEMA that you'll see out here. So you see this basket. We've got a lot of interest in this cooler rack or basket. This mounts to our Allied Expedition tailgate reinforcement. So we've got the tailgate reinforcement. This will come with or without the mountains. It's up to you. Um, 
we've done the spare tire relocation bracket to raise this up to fit the larger diameter tire and then the basket bolts to that bracket. So all three of those will be sold together as a kit. And then we also have the third brake light adjuster or spacer. So this will raise up, uh, clears the basket, clears the tire. So that was a lot of work making all that fit together. Another plane. canvas, uh, ripstop canvas. These are on gas struts, so it opens and closes on its own. What you don't see on this is they do come with a roof and a floor with a drain. The floor with the drain is awesome. Most floors are just PVC floors without a drain. The roof is great. Um, you wouldn't think, why do I need a roof in a shower? It holds the heat in. Um, a lot of times we're taking showers out in the middle of nowhere, middle of Mojave, up in the mountains, and it holds that heat in, that steam in for you. So. The roof is fantastic, it's fully adjustable. It's a pretty tall vehicle, so you know it's worth it. Inside the vehicle, we haven't made a lot of changes. Um, we don't add a lot of stuff to our personal vehicles or company vehicles on the inside. Number one, because we're always towing an X-Venture trailer. We throw all of our crap in there, all of our camping gear, tents, shift pods, all that stuff go on the trailers. So inside, the only thing we've done is we've added a set of road wire leather seat covers. This came with factory cloth. So we swapped over to road wire. Road wire, um, also known as classic soft trim, makes the best factory replacement leather seat covers. Um, it's not a cover that pulls over your factory seat. It's a cover that replaces the factory seat cover. So we were on road wire on everything. I've worked with them for years. Fantastic brand. Kind of mimic the stock pattern, the gray and black. Um, wanted to keep it as the on theme or in the same color as the factory interior. Didn't go crazy with diamond stitches or anything, but those are options that are available from Roadwire. We like basic stock only. Um, so that's basically it. Underneath, performance wise, we've added a Gibson Trail Series catback exhaust. We're adding a, an engine intake when that's available. We work with Engine out of Pomona, California. And then the one major thing that you don't see. It hasn't gone on, that hopefully will make it by SEMA, is we've got a Dana 60 rear axle with an ARB locker and the Dana 44 semi cloak front with their half shafts uh, with an Eaton E locker up front. So hopefully we get those going uh, before the show, time permitting. Um, but that's our overland build. So this started as a base Bronco and now it's a lot more. So you can do a lot with a base Bronco. Um, we're a year into the market and there's a lot of options available. All these products bolted on. The only modifications that we had to do to the vehicle was trimming some plastic caps for the roof rack, a little bit of mild trimming, and just relocating the rear reservoirs for the shocks. Other than that, everything bolted on um, without a problem. So lots of options for your Bronco, lots of options from us, from AFN, Taruka, and Kruger Controller. Don't want to forget under here is our trigger six shooter mounted on our Bronco specific mount. So if you don't have factory upfitter switches, you can get those now through us at triggercontroller.com. So you can check this out in the Taruka USA booth or you'll see it out on the trail, King of the Hammers, all sorts of events. So Advanced Accessory Concepts 2021 SEMA build for Bronco.